All right, thank you. Here, I can picture you put the gas in it. I think it's Yo, you're running? Yeah. yeah, you're running. Full tank. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Well, today is going to be an update on the Kentucky, the sale of the Kentucky farm. These first clips are, uh, were me obviously filling up the brand new Polaris. Uh, Weeks Polaris did give us a fuel ticket, and I kind of forgot to put it in the previous vlog video. So anyways, we finally, yes, we got a full tank of gas on the new Polaris. Got to eat all as much as we can if they're paying for the gas. Anything free is worth saving up for. So anyways, today, here we are, February 8th, 2022, and I get a phone call today from the banker of the buyers of our Kentucky farm. Now, keep in mind, we originally sold it, and the contract, you know, the sale closing was supposed to happen on February 15th, which is literally only less than a week away right now. So anyways, I get a call today, and they haven't even ordered the appraisal yet. I mean, if you want to talk about devastating and crushing, it was very, very bad news. And, and I, I mean, I bit my tongue, but I wanted to say, what, what have you been doing for the last, you know, five weeks, six weeks? I mean, we're supposed to close in a few days. So anyways, today me and Phil went over there for my last vlog um, to pick up the tractor, the Branson tractor and some equipment to bring it back. Um, but yeah, so anyways, they just ordered the appraisal now and that's going to happen probably within a week or so. So the, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, the market's crazy right now. If it doesn't appraise out, you know, we're, it's like you, you never know what's going to happen. Some banks won't even lend if, if it don't appraise out and some will just say, hey, you could pay cash for the extra you know whatever let's say it appraises at 500,000 but the sale is 550 you could pay cash but anyways it was definitely a setback very emotional setback so we are very far from being out of the woods right now with this sale um, but unfortunately this you know this emotional stress and the ups and downs is I mean that comes with buying and selling land so anyways just an update you know to show what we've been doing the last few days and definitely stay tuned we will keep you updated hopefully the sale will go through asap and get this thing finally done so this is why we moved south but i guess we didn't go quite far enough Although it sounds like this ice storm went all the way down to Texas, so. Once again, this is why I like machines. Now we'll see if my investment, I bought the biggest, baddest battery that could go in this thing. My turn? I thought you were bringing me uh, my gloves. Oh, here, here's mine. Okay, so the long and the short of it is uh, buying and selling real estate is very emotional, kind of like trading in a stock market. So this, I mean, th this is, the ups and downs are really hard to take if you've ever been through them. So stay tuned, we'll keep you updated. It's almost like this process is like, like literally starting from zero right now. Uh, even though we, th we thought everything was done, we thought, all this was lined up and we're going to close in a week and only to find out we're basically starting from zero again even after like six weeks so stay tuned we'll keep you updated as usual we appreciate it hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one thanks a lot all right i'm stuck in my own driveway this is uphill this way and this is that three inch ice pack is starting to melt and man it's just a mess so I'm gonna have to offload the tractor 